This video is currently censored. If you would like to see the uncensored version in our 18 plus, then please check out my Patreon. Are you tired of opening up your hentai, ready to go about your business, and then you realize, huh? That x-ray coochie isn't done all that great. Or huh? This storyline's as relatable as me getting a girlfriend and no longer having to watch hentai. You are? Well, that's sad. But believe it or not, you're not alone. Hentai is an art form that has all different types of things that you always risk yourself getting into when you open up that bad boy. Things that you wouldn't expect would happen. Be it that the art suddenly goes way downhill and instead of winking off, you go on Twitter and become an art critic instead. Or the storyline. Like for example, the plot being about a girl who's an adolescent that's going into high school and changes her looks a little bit and then slowly transforms into something that only nightmares dream of. Really, you're never too certain that once you open one up, what in Pandora's box you're gonna get. But hold on, fellas! Hold on! Cause I may have found an answer that'll knock your socks off right onto your little pee-pee. I recently found a hentai artist whose art would make Da Vinci proud if he suddenly became a degenerate hentai connoisseur. The storylines are so well written and detailed that they give you that extra little oomph that you didn't know you needed. Yes, God has answered our prayers, and he has given us our savior, Jodori! I first saw Jodori when I was scrolling around on Twitter and I noticed somebody retweeted their artwork. And my first initial thought was, this is clearly just some beautifully drawn frame from some really amazing anime that must have some heart-rending story that goes just as well with its sakuga. But I was wrong. After looking into it further, I realized that frame was instead a panel from a hentai where the girl and the guy were going to Pantone. I couldn't believe it at first. Somebody put so much beauty and detail into a frame of a hentai where it felt like I was watching a porn version of Silent Voice. It almost felt like such a waste to have such an intricate piece in a hentai. Almost. After reading a few of their works, I came to realize that Jorori is kind of a fucking genius. And that's not just with how well they draw but also with how they write their storylines. Now, the stories are fairly basic with it being very vanilla and it usually being about a girlfriend and a boyfriend slowly gravitating towards holding hands with their genitals, but it has a certain little spark that really separates this artist from all of the rest. The beautiful scenes drawn actually depict something that's really a huge part of the story, and that's how their lovers view them. And that sounds kind of basic, right? I mean, it's just a beautifully drawn panel of a person looking at their lover and you can definitely feel that they love them. But how many hentai can you point to me that isn't just about a guy grabbing a girl by the shoulders and yelling, let's do it! Like that's the biggest turn on in the world and not actually in reality making a girl recoil in their skin when they say it. Seeing characters kissing or even just looking at a beautiful scene doesn't make you feel that you're looking at empty characters, but rather you're feeling an experience. The characters and their lust can suddenly be felt through you. And that's pretty amazing for an artist to capture for something as fictional as you ever having sex. The drawings are the story. And yes, that sounds like such a blanket statement and it makes me sound like I'm some pretentious art student at a museum that's trying to understand the deeper meaning of a statue that looks like a pile of shit. But honestly, that's all I can really explain it as. When you look at the art and experience the thing the characters feel and the allure it portrudes, it's just, you kind of got to realize how amazing that is for a hentai to have. It fucking boggles my mind. But I mean, of course, this is just how I felt reading their works. I might be wrong. Maybe they just made these random ass beautiful pictures. So when you're wanking off to their stories, you stop and enjoy what you're looking at. And I can tell you right now, this isn't the kind of book you want to cream into, okay? This is the kind of book you want to fucking frame. I'll bite at the risk of your friends and family, but they just don't get it. The bodies and sex drawn are fairly normal. I mean, they aren't as detailed and beautiful as the more picturesque panels, but I can still promise you, you won't be disappointed. Jorori, I feel, is still a fairly new artist. I can't find many of their works, but I'm still glad that we can find some of them, even if there's not too much. I really hope that Jorori lights a path for other artists to do this kind of content in their works, because I just really love it. It really 
takes hentai to a whole nother level. I never knew I needed this concept in this genre so badly, but fuck! If you read it, I feel like definitely you will too. There are so many manga artists that initially started by doing hentai before they got done with their official works, like the MILF Sakai artist as well as the Shoko Geki artist, and their art is pretty fucking phenomenal. So yes, hentai is art, guys! It isn't just a meme! I honestly do think hentai is a great place to try and find artists, even though it is, of course, on the adult side. That's why I'm hoping that Jirori also branches out into doing their own sort of normal manga without sex, or with sex, I don't know. Either way, I, their artwork, just if I could see, read as many different types of things as long as it has their artwork, that, that's like a dream. This kind of experience isn't as easily said, so I highly recommend you guys go out and experience yourself by going and reading Jorori's works because I can promise you, I promise you, you'll be crying from both ends from how beautiful the artwork is. So yeah, check out their Twitter and check out their pages that they're selling their official artwork. They, it is just, it's a fucking amazing. Just go, go check it out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I love making the content I do, but because it's usually about stuff like this, it is often demonetized. So if you are thinking about supporting this channel, then please check out this link here or check out the link in the description because you gotta type this link out. So, or, but you, the link is just there. So you just click it in the description. The link to Jorori's stuff is also in my description. So just click that stuff. Be sure to check them out. I'm fucking serious. And yeah, thank you guys again and ta-ta! Bye!